Welcome to Doodads. My name's Josh. And I'm Mark. Yeah, I'm Jeff. And we are here to talk about things as dads. That's that's what we do. Like Black Swan events. Black. Or like legit, it, we might get into Black Swan events today for sure. I I eat beets last night. You guys like beets? Who's a beet love, fan? Love pickled beets, right? Um, I know these were roasted beets, which are okay. delicious. I can, I can tell you, well. I've never eaten a beet in my life. You've never eaten a beet. It can be a horrifying experience the next morning. Well, oh, because like you're pooping blood. When you poop <laughs> and you wipe, it's frightening. You go, <laughs> then you go, oh yeah, I had beets, and it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, beets. But but buddy? that but that initial there's that initial. Um, there was something wrong with me. I got to go to the doctor. I'm gonna, my stomach is falling out of the ass end of my <laughs> body. Um, also, we're going to talk about uh, some very, very hot topics that are happening right now. And uh, yeah, we've got some fun stuff. I think I got a lot of videos with comments I've been just saving for this episode. It's been a few weeks, obviously, because of vacations and things. But today, it's going to be a fun one, boys. Fun one. A little, little touch of seriousness, I think. Fun touch of serious. That's what we do. All right. But first off, we uh, always do dad joke. And this week, because we're talking about something important, which is the artificial intelligence and the emergence of how it's working. And I'm going to, you guys are going to be blown away by what you see today because I just brought it up. So I'm going to open, I'm going to open ChatGPT and I'm going to tell it to tell us a dad joke. Open okay, but here. I'm going to challenge it because I think I got a better one. Okay. Oh. You got yours and I'm going to ask it. Tell me a good dad joke. Why don't skeletons fight each other, Jeff? I don't know. They don't have the guts. All right. <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> Where do cow farts come from? Where? The dairy air. See, Jeff's is better. <laughs> it was better. That's it better. Was, that was, better. That was much better. Okay, okay. I'm going to give ChatGPT one more That's chance. That's like a French joke. That was a very good joke. That was good. So I said, this time I need another one. Make it awesome. Why did the computer go to therapy? Because it had too many unresolved issues and couldn't find its drivers. What? That's stupid. There's, that's stupid. That was dumb. <laughs> AI like, will not destroy humanity like it says it will. So <laughs> just, let's just say AI will not destroy Jeff. <laughs> yeah, it Je- Jeff will destroy that. AI. Give it a week. What's yeah. the day of the year? Oh, man. So I'm assuming we're airing on April the 1st. Probably that's not. A, that's a good day. <laughs> okay, that's a good, a good day. day. Oh, that's true. Yeah, April Fool's. Yeah. But as I looked into the national days, there's a new one for this year, and it kind of mm-hmm. pisses me off. It's the National Tomfooleries Day. Mm-hmm. I like which that. Which sounds absolutely ridiculous because it's also April Fool's Day. So why would you need a Tomfooleries Day? Do they but give a reason to why it's Tom Fuller's there, there Day? There is a reason. I looked into okay. it, and the reason is there's this Kalahari Resorts. They're the biggest water park in the States, mm-hmm. and they've got some character that they've made for their propaganda videos and, and you know, come see us, and they've got comic books and stuff, and they got this character named Tom Foolery. So they're <sighs> making it his, his official first day. But how does that make it onto the list of national yeah. days? People's that's palms were greased for that. That's a deep conspiracy. That's ridiculous. That's a deep conspiracy. I don't like it. It's upsetting me. I don't like it I think either. that's how Valentine's Day got into play. Hallmark was greasing some palms. <laughs> and that's For how sure. we got here. That's Yes, absolutely. Here. Yeah. And now my wife is hooked on those GD movies. Every, like, you know, you've got the, the fall classic, the harvest classics, right? Where it's all about, oh, you go to the, the girl this, from New York comes the, to the, the busy yeah. girl goes to the farm, whatever. Yep. And, you know, they go to a corn roast. They do the whole winter. Then in Apple the winter, picking. you know, you know what yep. happens in the winter. The Christmas tree farmer, f- like the lady, falls in love with the Christmas yeah. tree farmer, and right? he ends up being a trillionaire or a prince or some shit. Yeah. My wife loves that garbage. Oh, and I hate it. My yeah. wife is my wife obsessed. Too. I mean, it work. I mean, make a lot of money. And Lindsay Lohan has made her return in those types of movies. Her, her movie Hallmark? Irish something or other Irish luck or something was trending number one on Netflix for like a week, and it's one of those movies. She, really? Remember her? She went off the rails and was like doing drugs and we no one ever thought she was like completely done. And yeah. now she's back and it's like her, it's like her, her, what do you call it? Her redemption arc. And it's really good because she's doing really? like real cute B movies though. Yeah. But Hallmark's it's, B. But not when you're trending on Netflix for an entire week. That's a yeah, big deal. That's a conspiracy in itself. I think. <laughs> it's true. They're forcing it into your <laughs> Come eyes. Come on. We yeah, also so, have, we also have yeah. IEP day. So that's individualized education plan so that's for the for the that's teachers oh okay uh, it's actually pretty good for the teachers that uh, put together those individual education plans for people with uh 
uh, special disabilities. Okay, I like those people. Yeah, pretty good. So celebrate them. Sourdough Bread Day. That's pretty self-explanatory. For the uh, trad moms out there. Love me some sourdough. (laughs) It is pretty delicious. One Cent Day. I found this one kind of interesting. So they're celebrating the penny. Which Canada has discontinued. We've discontinued it. It was first minted in 1908 in Canada. Mm Mm-hmm. In the States, it was first uh, printed 1787. I knew that. Invent, you did. No, I did. <laughs> and it was uh, designed by Benjamin Franklin. And I actually found this kind of neat. Uh, one side, it said, we are one. And on the flip side, it said, mind your business. <laughs> really? Yeah. I I'm going to bring that up in the visual. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mind I your love business. just research into these. He's he, very, he, like he takes it seriously. Yeah, he's very good. There's one more. Oh, one more. Okay. pretty good one. Take down tobacco day. Yeah, I agree so with that. It's, take it's, it down. it's different every day. Yeah, take it down. They've done a study. Apparently, smoking is bad for you. Mm-hmm. It has been confirmed. So Remember when doctors do be it. like, you're pregnant, you should smoke cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> and take cocaine nerves. for it. Calms your nerves. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some meth. Yeah. Well, they still give meth. So I don't, yeah, it's still. It's true. I love it. So uh, let's move on to quickly. Uh, what are you eating? I don't know why I got this written down and I thought, hmm, this is cool. Jeff's really good. Jeff's really That's good at right. this. Mark, anything you eat? Oh, like. I don't know, man. I've just been like throwing meals together and yeah. surviving right now. It's like year survival end because you're working like crazy. Year end ringette tournaments this weekend, oh, whatever. Geez. No, so <laughs> if you guys don't know what ringette is, it is really actually kind of fun. Yeah, uh, it's hockey sticks without blades, and they they throw on this rubber ring. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, and it really. can get pretty crazy. There's like oh, some weird rules yeah, too, it's, right? It's a fast game at that at a higher. Explain level the rules. Sure. Can you take? How do you take the ring from? Can you lift their stick up? Yeah, it's that's called checking, right? But okay. anyways, I don't think it's a good topic, Ringette. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm chasing my tail right now with my family and whatever. Okay. So I'm not eating good, uh, uh, you know. Like, just eating on the run as throw you me a like a um, food truck poutine. That'd be making me happy these days. Well, you can have some of these Cadbury eggs. Oh, I'm some that. poutine and some uh, and a and a Coke on the toilet. Pepsi. Right? He does Pepsi oh, on the toilet. Pepsi. Well, I, you know what? I since that episode, I actually quit doing it because I was oh. kind of embarrassed. <laughs> you already told everybody you might as well continue yeah. it that's crazy that's no you continue right. the pepsi on the pooper all right please i'm gonna i'm gonna limit myself to once a week all right uh <laughs> recently once a week i've been going to the mall uh bayshore which is in ottawa it's like they upgraded the mall it's the best mall in the city now it's by good. far it's good um and there's this there's this restaurant upstairs called del moro and it's just fresh pasta so like they put the eggs in the flour in the machine it puts out the pasta I don't know. I can't explain it. It's really expensive. Like for Kathy and I, it's like forty dollars. Holy! But it is so darn good. Every time I go to Bayshore, I pick it up. It's I was, so good. I was at Bayshore last week and I got Manchu Walk. You don't know, get like, Manchu Walk. I got. That's I'm not silly. kidding you. Nineteen dollars for because I got <gasps> the three oh, really? toppings. Nineteen dollars. You know how you pick the used three to be eleven sizes? bucks. I know. I know those bastards. I know inflation. Well, we're going to talk it's about carbon tax first. because today the carbon tax goes up. It goes up. Yeah. But before we get to that, Jeff, what are you eating? Oh man, uh, panic, panic! He's drinking something there. What is that? Is that a cider? Oh, I'm drinking. It's just a beer. It's a beer. Do you, is that the one you make? It's delicious. No, I haven't made beer in a long time. Oh, COVID kind of uh, stopped everything. It stopped that podcasts. Sucked. It stopped beer. It stopped a lot of things. Freaking COVID. <laughs> Oh man, what am I eating that I love right now? What's your go-to? Like you're on the road and you're like, I'm near this place. I got to get it. <sighs> fast pretty, food. Pretty Let's big talk fast of. food. Shawarma. Shawarma poutine. Oh, would be like, oh. Yeah, it's so good. Mark's a huge shawarma fan. Like yeah. huge shawarma. The best you've had way shawarma. to get a Oh. You've had shawarma poutine? Yeah. No. I Well, I've had it with the rice. No, no, no. You got to get... Sh- so they basically make a poutine, you know, fries... Yeah. cheese curd gravy then they throw like a mountain of shawarma meat on top and then you get all the sauces put on top of that it's amazing so i've had a similar experience but when i was in halifax they did this shawarma pizza sure it was in donair oh. it's different there's donairs in halifax okay okay so this is what it was it was a king of donairs pizza with donair sauce yeah on the top so good oh my gosh so good east coast donairs yeah. now That'd we're onto it there's a place in Burlington, Jeff. You're closer than I, obviously. It's called Sammy's. Now that you're eating meat again, which is great, I love you. For yeah, that. yeah, I love that too. Go to Sammy's. It's in Burlington, off of. Okay, how do I explain where this is? <clears throat> I'm not sure which exit it is. There's like a Home Depot on one side, and then the other side there's like a mall with like an Eastside Mario's. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Explain it. It's near Mapleview, sort of. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I know it's S A M M Y S. Okay, it's take yourself okay. 25 bucks and go get yourself a donair from there. 
Yeah. It isn't, it's like, the, it's not a Euro, it's not a, it's not a, what are you, you said what it was. This is Suvlaki, it's Suvlaki, It's not it? Suvlaki. It's, what? The, like, this thing keeps the thumbs up. Thing. I love it. It is the <laughs> best thing you've ever eaten in your entire life and the sauce is sweet. It's got little t- diced tomatoes, mm. little diced onions and they just pour the sauce on. It's, it's the most heavenly thing you've ever eaten in your life and I remember it as a child. That's how far back it goes. So, so when I, you were in Halifax, you had a Donaire. Yeah, that's what it oh, was for sure. Donate a pizza, but like the the best thing ever in life is um, when you have uh, eggs, Benny. Yep. What's that sauce? Hollandaise. Oh, Hollandaise sauce. Oh, I love Hollandaise that. sauce. Is like I love or Bernays, which is a very similar sauce which you put on steak. Oh yeah, I've never you tried that. You go to that. the keg, get a Bernays sauce with your New York strip. <laughs> oh Dang. yeah, but hey, man, like I I can't. I get the prime rib, buddy, every time. It's just damn. It's they call, I thought they called it Hollandaise sauce at the keg. No, it's Bernays. They call it Bernays. They're right? similar. They're, they're similar sauces. They're different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, maybe they do have all these. Maybe I'm wrong. Go to the that. keg. Go to the keg and get the steak Oscar. You got that? No, no. That's where that? they put uh, they put scallops, shrimp on top of your steak, and then pour hollandaise on it. Yeah, that's. Ooh. I'm getting that next. Yeah, it's I'm good. Because I too. live for the bacon wrapped scallops at the keg. I get like yeah. five orders of those things. Because <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like sixty five dollars. <laughs> no, it's more than that. Yeah, that's Last time crazy. Cafe, I went, I had three orders of it, and that's all I ate. Three. They're so expensive. And Worth like you it. said, everything's so more, it's much more expensive these days because yeah. of today's tax. If you guys don't live in Canada, you need to know that we have this thing called a carbon tax, and it's just absolute bonkers and, how this keeps working. And, and there's tax on the carbon tax. That's yeah, the beautiful part. And then part. because of the carbon tax, everything goes up in price. So you're not just paying an extra $0.05, cents, $0.10 cents of the pump. You're also paying an extra 10 percent in the end of the year on all the because they have to ship things farmers are getting way more tax everything goes up because of it and Trudeau just sits in the top of his little ivory tower and is like yep this sounds good he doesn't ca- all of ca- 80 percent of Canada does not want this tax and he doesn't care I mean 80 percent of Canada doesn't want any tax I understand that but he thinks he's changing the environment he thinks it will and it will not because 2023 was the most on record that's what they're saying recently it's the most polluted record on in Canada's history so 2023 yeah it's not working. oh even after the tax yeah even after the tax not doing yeah, anything just the people, people just the people of canada have to pay for it you can't well we can't stop driving to work we can't stop doing this and that we could it takes you 15 20 years to create a train system especially in ottawa and then it's right. down every two weeks yeah. even putting in the infrastructure is going to take too long to do it and even porting over electric cars which a lot of people are doing it's we don't have the infrastructure for it. it's not going to work so the carbon tax can kiss my ass is what I'm saying. <laughs> Me too. Gas has already yeah. gone up because it's switching over to summer gas, which always is a boost. And summer diesel goes up too. So when you switch from winter to summer, it goes up. I thought it was that the other way around. Sense to me no, it's no not. Additives. And I, I Googled it. I thought that too. It, it, it changes. I don't know why. Because they put more <laughs> additives in the winter gas. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, uh, keep, it, keep it viscous i don't know but i'm pissed because what they're trying to tell people and this is a lie and i need you to know this is that you're not they're saying well you're getting money back you those people are getting money back but no you're not because you're let's say you pay an extra two thousand bucks in tax or whatever right okay fine you get like 1800 back if you're lucky i'm just throwing numbers out there but they're not counting the extra cost of everything that you're paying for so you're not getting any money back right plus if the, if the argument is that i'm getting money back then why are you taking it to begin with right because it's it, it, if that's the case, then it's a wealth redistribution. So those who are richer get the money taken. They don't get it back because they make too much money. And those who don't make a lot of money get it. So it's just wealth redistribution. And even if you do take money and it's all evenly zeroed out at the end, there's really no reason to take it. And it costs money to, to take it and to delve it up and process it. Yeah. Billions because our government is so wasteful. That's my rant about the Canadian government. Kiss my ass. <laughs> I can't Sorry, go boys. there. It pisses me off too much. <laughs> Um, we don't have sports tonight. There's not really sports, uh, except for MLB starts. Well, we're recording this on Wednesday. Starts tomorrow. Official MLB opening season. Blue Jays. Who do the Jays play? They play the Rays. Rays. <laughs> what we're gonna do? Who can go to games like that? Well, we're gonna go to game with Jeff, and we're gonna pop down. We're gonna go to yeah. game with Jeff for a weekend. That'd be great. I'm it's gonna be fun because I be love watching Blue Jays games. It's like, yeah. my, oh, I love baseball. It's a great stadium. I can't play it anymore. I wonder okay. what the carbon tax is going to make a beer cost at yeah, the uh, exactly. Sky Dome. Oh, I like, I know what it costs at Sky Dome to go for a hot dog and whatever already, and you know it's going to go up another 15% this year. It's it's a hot dog's going to cost you $17. What's that's, the Sky Dome called? Is it Rogers? Rogers. I don't know. It's got yeah, Sky Dome okay, for me. Right. It's always going to be yeah, Sky Dome. Sky Dome. That's what I call it, too. Kiss my ass. Yeah, so hot dog, hot dog was what? Sorry. Last How year, I think a uh, foot long hot dog was 
it's like fifteen dollars. That's insane for a, for a footlong hot dog, which is great. You can I mean, buy one thousand footlong hot dogs in Mexico for <laughs> two cents. Oh yeah, Jeff, you just got back from Mexico. That was awesome. How was it? <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, where'd you Good go? Good time. We went to Cozumel. Okay, did you go to Eshcaret? To the what? Eshcaret. It's like the X Caret. It's like a big zoo. No. So you, where is that on, on I don't Cozumel? I don't know if that's Cozumel. Where did I go? So so you took Cozumel's the, an island. Yeah. So did you go sco- uh, scuba diving or anything like that? I went snorkeling. Snorkeling. So the snorkeling. Snorkeling was for me too. There. Like I went, I went full like snorkel nerd. Like I love yeah. snorkeling. Yeah. Okay. So I go with my family. I go in with uh, Trish and her brother. They're like ten minutes and they're done snorkeling. I'm out there for like two hours. Wow. <laughs> Where's Jeff? You I, swim with the sharks. I just yeah, love yeah. it. Hey, no, I swam. I swam with an eagle ray. Have you ever heard of an eagle ray? No, no. Put an image of those up. Okay. Eagle ray, so cool. Didn't know they existed. You know what a manta ray looks like, right? Yeah. The Ooh, big rays whoa, with yeah. the like wide mouth. These things are like that, whoa. only instead of having that wide mouth, they have almost like a dolphin face. So cool. I swam oh, with that Very thing. cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So it was, the body was about as big as me. Whoa. And the tail is about twice as long. And it's got a uh, uh, venomous barb on the end of it, apparently. Cool. But they're like, they're, they're quite shy creatures. So uh, this thing was swimming. I saw it three times. Uh, I saw it on a Monday and then on Tuesday I saw it two more times and the last time I saw it it actually swam under me about 10 feet away it was pretty cool that is so cool and they're that dangerous is. right well I mean dangerous if you like mess with them and they sting you but I don't think like they're never gonna pursue you they're just kind of curious and docile yeah that's really cool but seeing Sweet. that thing swim is like majestic I like love going underwater and snorkeling and stuff but I'm just not good at it I love it I can't, I can't regulate my ears very well I hate when you get that salty in your mouth from when you from the ocean. Oh, I hate that. Or in your nostrils, you like, like and you got your sinuses, you get all the salt. Oh. Like yeah, it. yeah, yeah. When you when you're done, when you when you take the mask off after like an hour, it's just like blowing just snot, out of my yeah. face. salty snot. <laughs> Feeding the fishes, chum the water. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So Jeff went on vacation recently. And it was really fun. It was probably worth it. No kids went. No kids, just adults. Love it was it. nice. Yes. Yeah, just chill. It was just chill. Didn't really do much snorkeling every day. We. You know, hit the ocean on the other side, big waves one day. Do you do any like excursions? Food. The only excursion we did was we we uh, rented a Jeep. Cozumel's pretty small. Yeah. And we just drove the perimeter of the island. Did it in about two hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we got to see the uh, Caribbean seaside. So we were on the Gulf side, the Caribbean seaside, um, uh, where it opens up like way bigger waves there, right? So we went yeah. in and... I got I got scorpion by one wave. I was trying to body surf and it just slammed me. My heels touched the back of my head. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so I, I've I've been to Cozumel. Thanks, bro. Yeah, what'd uh, you think? I I loved it, and I did the I rented a jeep and did the same thing. Yeah. Um, there, we did uh, some tequila tasting. Is there some tequilas? Yes. Thing yeah. Apparently, you can't I, do that. We didn't do that, but okay. So what'd you think? Like, I, I got banged up. Like, oh, yeah. I got banged up. Tequila and tasting. It, also, apparently, there's this thing where you get drunk on tequila for free. Oh, it was not. <laughs> tequila, like, like, I don't, you guys, I'm the only one of these groups who don't drink, but does yeah. tequila, like, taste like anything? Like, the high, the really yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it tastes stuff? like fire. Yeah. It, why is that, why is that good? Who wants that? <laughs> is it, you get I'm drunk done. really fast? I'm done with it. I haven't had tequila since. What I've about vodka? What does vodka taste like? Nothing. It tastes like nothing. Nothing. Uh, I would say it tastes like. It tastes like alcohol sharp, smells. Sharp like, you know nothing. what rubbing al- rubbing alcohol sharp smells nothing. like? Okay, yeah. yeah. Josh, all of those alcohols that are like 40%, they all have like a burning sensation to them. Okay. And they, they leave you with that kind of like, you know that nose feeling like when you when you get water up your nose? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like that. that okay, like I don't like that. Sinus, sinus burn. What's the point uh, of drinking horse alcohol? Radish? For- yeah, I've had horseradish. I would say it kind of does something similar to that. Okay. It doesn't so taste what, like that, but it does something similar. Is the point of drinking 40% alcohol just to get drunk real fast? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Understood. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's get into pop culture. Okay, so there's a lot of big things going on in my world right now. Okay, TikTok ban. DeSantis signs a uh, thing, and it's uh, here. We bring it up for you guys. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signs a bill that bans children under 14 from having social media accounts. So he doesn't ban so a TikTok, but he makes it so that kids under 14 cannot even have accounts. So Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signs a bill money that will prohibit ch- children younger than 14 from joining social media in the state. Those who are 14 or 15 will need a parent's consent before they join a platform. 
The bill HB3 also directs social media companies to delete all the existing accounts of those who are under 14. That's crazy. Companies that fail to do so could be sued on behalf of the child who creates an account on the platform. The minor can be awarded up to 10000 in damages, according to the bill. So companies found to be in violation of the law would also be liable for 50000 per violation as a U.S. attorney fee. So basically, and this is great for me because I don't think kids should be on social media. And some parents are just allowing kids unfettered access to social media. There are way too many dangers to social media. So mm-hmm. parents are not doing their job and they should be. And the government's now forcing their hand. So is, if your kid has it, gone. Workaround? Is there not a simple workaround to it? Just lie about your age? Yeah, but in the end, if you do it, if in, it, it can be reported. So these kids won't be like, they might just be able to peruse it, but they won't be able to create content on it. Okay. Right. So you can lie about your age and have an account that doesn't have any content on it, but kids won't be able to create content because the reporting feature will be utilized instantly by. So people report if they think yep. somebody's a minor and then it gets investigated. Yep. And then that they have that then, in place. Yeah. Because and then TikTok will want to remove it right away because they'll get $50,000 dings every time they get caught allowing kids on. And if that kid is doing it like VPNs or lying about their age and all that kind of stuff, it's they're going to get booted off instantly. So this is a good thing considering how many kids create content on TikTok that is so inappropriate. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the predators that are watching them, this is one huge step I think is, I think all 50 states should take this on, all of Canada. No kids. And that this also means, I, I hope this also means that family vloggers cannot put their kids on there who are under 13. That's what I'm yeah, hoping I was, for. I was just going to ask that. So what comes of that? So if, a, if an adult creates an account and then exploits their kid, even for, you, weren't you talking last time about some of those inappropriate yep. things that oh, like, yeah, yeah that they, I think, I think it should be able do, to right? be reported and that gets removed because it, it includes, though that might be the loophole. The parents bit. no, 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 it's my account. My kid's just coming on. They might, that's going to be a loophole. There's mm-hmm. always going to be a loophole. And I think that's going to be one, but the kids who create content, who make a lot of money, who are just the kids doing it. Like there's a girl named Ava Madjury who is in Florida. That's the one I keep talking about where mm-hmm. the kid came to her house and shot the door off with a shotgun and then went in to kill the family, but his gun jammed and he ran away, came back. And then the dad shot him in the head. So that she's like a 15 year old TikToker, She wouldn't be allowed to create content. They would, you know, what's going to happen though. All these kids and their parents are going to move out of state that they will literally do that. Instead of just letting their kid be a normal kid, they will move their child because of how much money they make. So it's so, only Florida. It's not only Florida is doing it right now. Only Florida. And they're always a step ahead when it comes to this type of stuff. So hopefully the other will join on. Uh, California will never. See, that's the problem. California will never do this stuff because they're all for child exploitation. They don't give a crap. Mm-hmm. Which, mm-hmm. which leads me to, we're going to be doing what are we watching in a second, but you guys have to watch the documentary uh, Quiet on Set, which is about the Nickelodeon thing, which we'll bring up in a minute. But California is always going to be a place where children will get exploited and it's tons of cash, tons of underlying grossness. Um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But there's another one where Madonna shames a fan in a wheelchair at her show. What? <laughs> I'm going to show you. You ready? Okay, but there's some people in wheelchairs that could be dicks too, though, right? Okay, but I'll show you. You'd be the judge. <laughs> okay. Jeff. No, am I not right? That's, <laughs> you, that's you correct. You are very right, Jeff. Yeah. Okay, ready, Jeff? Mm-hmm. Take this with me. Well, they doing sitting down over there. Uh, why sitting down? Why are you doing over? sitting down? Because they're going to take you off the stage. Because they're going to take you off the stage. Did you see that? So I didn't she's hear like, what she said. It okay, was like so choppy. basically she's like, why sing down over there? Why sing down over there? And she takes that. her mic off. She goes over, was cheering. And then the person's like, I'm in a wheelchair. She's like, oh, sorry about that. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> well, what's she supposed to say? Come that? on. Well, that's she's an not honest supposed mistake. To, okay. I'm, <laughs> but it's funny. And it would happen to Madonna because she's a douche. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. Why are you sitting? Well, <laughs> I can't stand. Come on, that's an honest mistake. She's embarrassed. Hopefully, I, I don't think was, I'll give you guys that one. Was the, person, was the person in the wheelchair okay about it? Or did, yeah, did, like, did sure. they laugh I mean, about you had, it? You had a Madonna yeah, concert. That's You're funny. clearly a fan. Um, they didn't I'm come out or say anything, but I thought it was yeah. hilarious. Okay, new one. <laughs> this one you guys are going to be blown away with. Okay, we've been talking about AI for a couple of weeks now. It's only getting crazier. I'm going to show you a video that's emerging by an AI called Sora. S-O-R-A. And it is a game changer. So get ready for this, Jeff. This is done completely with AI. Well, they say everyone has something unique about them, something that sets them apart. It's just in my case, you know, it's quite obvious what that thing is. I am literally filled with hot air. Yeah, living like this has its challenges. 
Uh, windy days, for one, are particularly troublesome. Or there was the one time my girlfriend insisted I go to the cactus store to get my Uncle Jerry a wedding present. Ugh. What do I love most about my predicament? Through the perspective it gives me, you know, I get to see the world differently. I float above the mundane and the ordinary. I see things a different way from everyone else. Yeah, and I feel like it's because of that perspective I'm reminded every day that life is fragile. We're all just a pinprick away from deflation. So I try to live life with a lightness, a buoyancy, a joie de vivre. I got a lot of ideas keeping this thing full. With any luck, I'll find a way to share them with everyone else. Okay. What are your first impressions of that? Dude, I feel like there's the no way right. that guy could be that old and still have a balloon head. <laughs> that thing would have been popped a long time ago. AI so, is stupid. So the it's not that it's that AI used to I not know, be I able know. to do hands. It used to be like sure. some of the stuff was like hey, we're going to do this burger commercial and they're like melding the burger into the face. It didn't understand right. it. This yeah. is so powerful now that you cannot distinguish that from not being filmed by. Camera. No, that I I yeah that hand. Uh, the, the first thing I thought the still you put up with the hand, how vascular it was and stuff. Like it yep. looked yeah. like a real hand. This is and this is an emergence of technology that's like accessible to the public after about a year. So this is the second step already that's it's indistinguishable. There's another one I saw where it was AI taking a film dialogue from a character. It scans the face and then it changes the language and the movement of the mouth and changes the words and changes the movement of the mouth. That's insane. So English, then we do Spanish and Japanese and you couldn't, it was un, it was unreal. Where this, if this is as powerful as it is right now, five to 10 years, like you're Hollywood's done. Wow. There's going to be studios. No, there's going to be studios that are going to be like F Hollywood. I don't care about all that stuff. They're not going to have to adhere to the rules of the union. And they're just going to be like, I'm doing it. What are you going to, how are you going to stop me? They'll put it mm -hmm. on the internet. Mm -hmm. It's going to be insane what they're going to be able to create by doing prompts. And it's going to be faster and better than anything you can create right now in CGI. Wow. Entertainment wise, it's, it's interesting, but that scares me for yeah. like basically starting today. You don't believe anything you ever see. again. That's, that's exactly it. Well, NASA's yeah. going to love that. <laughs> I'm telling you. They're going to do, I mean, propaganda is going to take to the next level. You're not going to be able to tell the difference between anything. So what's going to happen is nobody's going to be able to believe anything on camera anymore. And that's going right. to change law. That's going to change how the law and courts distinguish things. They're going to be like, well, I can just claim it's AI. And how can you prove it's not? It's going right. to be insane. Like politically, it's going to be insane. You're going to be able well, to create I mean, anything and people will believe anything. We know that they will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even even like years ago, they were already making deep fakes with like Tom Cruise was kind of the first one, right? They were yeah. using, and those things look exactly like Tom Cruise and yeah, sound right. like him. Yeah. So like AI well, now is going to be able to do anything. Look at the X-Men movies about 10 years ago when they were making them look younger and everybody's like, oh my gosh, look at this. Now they can do that with ease. They just do it. They put prompts in and it does it for you. So you're going to see Hollywood strike back really hard against this and actors are going to say, no, you're never going to be able to use my likeness. Some will sell their likeness and say, go ahead, I don't care. Right. Uh, you're going to be able to see, like you'd be able to see Robin Williams in another movie again if you really, if if his estate allows it, and it, you won't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> right, like that's they're, they're going to live forever if they sell their likeness to Hollywood to create these films. That's right. it's 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 unstoppable at this point. We're we're definitely going to be taken over by AI. We're going to be dead. So just yeah. cool. That's a black swan. Cue, event. <laughs> cue the cue the Terminator music. Yeah, exactly. Uh, last one uh, for 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 news is Solar Eclipse is coming up pretty soon in April eighth, I think. That's a big deal, eh? It is a big. People deal. are loving it. Well, because it it hasn't happened over North America, or it's not going to happen again for a hundred years. Yeah, and yeah. right where we live, where you live, Jeff, and we live up mm. in Ottawa here, we are in the exact zone where it's like the best spot to see it. Apparently, that's what I heard. Don't look at it though. Don't look at the damn Nobody's thing. Nobody's ever people. gone blind from looking at it. Okay, eclipse. but just don't. In let's, history, dude. Let's. So. Are you sure? Okay, just, I'm just research it. it. Okay. Has anyone ever <laughs> gone blind from looking at an eclipse? Has anyone gone blind from looking at an eclipse? Since looking at the eclipse does not actually cause complete blindness, people with permanent damage may not know they have it reported to a doctor. The 2017 eclipse, which passed from the Oregon to South Carolina, is thought to have caused about 100 cases. All right. So he's right, but at the same time, just air on the side of caution because yeah. it could damage your eyes i was in the hardware store the other day and they had you know like those first 3d glasses yeah. that they were like <laughs> the cardboard, cardboard ones? ones 
there were in the like at the register there was these cardboard glasses and they said eclipse did glasses. you get some no i should have bought Mark, them don't look at the eclipse man but like no no if you can look at the eclipse with those cardboard glasses you can look at them at it without those cardboard right. glasses i'm not gonna <laughs> Anyways, go isn't, ahead, isn't the lens they put in it isn't it kind of like a welding uh lens the uh, welding glass? To me, it kind of reminded me of that, like the different color paper that we used to play with in kindergarten that was clear and stuff. And whatever, <laughs> so, like, it's... Now, do you have a welding helmet? Don't I do you? not. I, I thought do not. you did. No, I've got safety glasses. Well, I, Jeff's safety glasses. Oh, yeah. You, you stole those. Jeff's oh, safety glasses. Those are sweet. Those are, you still those have those? Are classics. He I'm loves so those things. Yeah. They're, they're out of the great. brown sort of... Yeah, yeah. 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 They've been around. That's they're like great. a grade, yeah. grade nine friggin' shop I teacher's know. glasses. Yeah. I know. All I had to do um, was build them a set of uh, porch columns for it. It's a good trade, I think. It was a good trade. I think the... The people, so there's a lot of, uh, let's tinfoil hat this for a second. A lot of people are saying the government and, and somebody are, are telling us to start prepping, start making sure you have emergency stuff on hand. They're saying it's like this could be a big deal if the sun gives off a solar flare big enough. And this is true, actually, scientifically. If the sun does give off a solar flare big enough, it could literally act as an enormous EMP to that part of the world that hits. Who's telling, who's saying this? So just people. I, I follow neighbors. I follow a woman on Instagram. She's super smart, and I'm going to tell you what her name is because okay. I just find her content fascinating. Astro dot Alexandra. She is always putting up space stuff. She's super smart. Oh yeah. And and have you seen her before? No, but she's got a pretty big following here. Yeah, she's got a huge following, and she's she's talked about solar flares before. She said because there's lots of people who talk the propaganda about it. Yeah. And uh, and she said. The, the communications uh, places they're they're prepared for it yeah like it's not it's it's not as big a deal if well, they the, happen all the time solar flares happen all the time yeah but the military's ready for what they what could happen because they got the infrastructure to do it but regular plugs like shoot us it? well no we're like if you imagine a solar flare hits the earth at the uh, whatever the the military stuff will be safe but the rest of the communications in the earth or wherever it hits it's toast it EMP literally bricks electronics it doesn't just like it doesn't just like get in the way and get fuzzy. It bricks them. So if you have a chip in your car and your in your phone, anything with a chip, it like welds it. Is what I'm understanding an EMP to be like it. Well, then how does that pulls, not how does that not affect you? Why wouldn't you get welded? Because you're not you're not electronic. It, elect, it, it, it like here. Let me Google it. How does you it weld it though? It. I don't understand that. You said how weld it. That's does, what it's out. like bricks it. An energetic EMP can temporarily upset or permanently damage electronic equipment by generating high voltage and high current surges. Semiconductor mm -hmm. components are particularly at risk. Particularly at risk, the effects of damage can range from imperceptible to the eye to devices literally blowing apart. <laughs> Yeah. So your body's not electronic, obviously, but um, yeah, no, I get it now. It's just so when you just said well that I was, uh, I didn't realize it was the voltage, but yeah. So just think of the um, last time your electronics blew apart and all that sort of stuff. You know, I mean, like, it's never happened to me. Exactly, it's never happened to me either. But so I'm just saying, I'm prepared. Bar. I am prepared. For your power bar. Get a surge protector. <laughs> the cars that are going to work in from an EMP though are going to be ones without any electronics in them, like no no fuel hmm. injection, nothing. It's going to be the old school okay. muscle cars. So I'm calling you out on this. Do you remember Y2K? Yep. Okay. Were you like, what? No, I Y2K? wasn't. I wasn't yeah. in the news back then. I didn't well, care. Y2K was big. And I was just like, you know what? I really don't care what year my car thinks it is. That's true. And <laughs> I feel the same about this sort of, I, I call it a racket. So you don't you think you think the sun giving off a solar flare is, is a no go? Never happened. I, I don't think. I, I think there's been so many eclipses over the over the centuries. Well, it's not just what eclipses. Decades are. over the. It could be anything. Yeah, yeah, I just I just feel like everything is like it's hard to believe anything that's going on. Right I almost now. want this crap to happen. That's what I'm saying. It. Like, oh, I, like for sure. Let's bring on the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Send the asteroid. Yeah. I say that, but I'd be I'm the first one to shit my pants when it happens. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the solar flare is doing anything. Okay. That's uh, so that's two Jeff, or three. Yeah, exactly. Jeff and I are. But I'm prepared. Um, yeah, and so listen. To what, this. what are this you is, doing to prepare? I have guns. <laughs> I spot another one. Okay, so oh. I have a theory. I have a theory that the closer you are to a boots, like a boots on the ground, yeah. person, like you know, like so Jeff's a firefighter. Mm -hmm. I'm a contractor, carpenter, whatever. Like, so these people are the people that think this is how we think, right? Mm -hmm. It's the people that are that are into technology that are on their computers all day long that fall for this kind of stuff. So I, I that's my theory. And I, I think you would sense. agree with me on that. Hey, eh, Jeff. 
yeah, people I don't who rely know. on technology would obviously logically about the fact that solar flares have been happening all the time. I don't. I just. I don't. I don't know. Well, when the big one does happen, I get to say, I "Told you guys so." I'm looking okay. forward to that day. <laughs> just don't look at it. Just, just, just yeah, don't yeah. look at it. Without your, without your yourself. glasses. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what we're watching. It's a big deal. Big deal. Yeah. Lots of good stuff going on right now. Mm-hmm. Mark doesn't watch anything. Oh, I did. I've, I've been yeah? watching lots, but okay. Yeah, yeah. I, so we just switched our television provider again because I hate the yeah. company I had. So, Mike. My wife and I watch The Bachelor. Right? Okay. So, like, I'm full into the series now. And of all the things Mark's I can, into. I cannot believe you watch The Bachelor. Yeah, I'm of all you. the things Mark's into, that's what he's that's, into. I can't believe you're you're okay with that. I thought you would hate that. No. So, I'm, wow. I'm very much a people watcher, Jeff. Yeah. And okay. it's really fun to call out the episode. Like, be, like I can call... Because what they do is they give you a little clip, kind of what's going to happen down the mm-hmm. down the pipe, right? Yep. So I look and then I say to I say to my wife, I go, "This is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen, and these are the two people that are going to get voted out." I can tell you within ten minutes of watching the episode what's going to happen, and so far I'm in like episode <laughs> six. I would say I'm I'm hitting at about eighty percent. Jeez, eighty percent predicted. Yeah. So he, here's my take on The Bachelor. You've got one dude dating multiple women at the same time being watched by women who hate men that date multiple women at the same time it's true yeah but it's it's, it's a one off scenario that they're okay with because of the because of because the tv of the, show yeah because the show right? overall and it's never like are there's ever real any of them ever lasted in relationships outside the show oh there's no, some but they're like really? yeah 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 come on I guess there are better or worse ways to find women, I guess. I, I can't know. watch wow. that car. Like, Kathy is wants me to start watching, uh, is it uh, Love at First Sight or something like that? Or Kathy's oh, my no, uh, sister. Love is Blind, uh, love is blind. Love is blind love or something blind. like that. I actually and like that one. I've never seen it, but I, I'm interested to see, like, I guess they don't even get to meet each other no, until the end the and then pods. they get to... Oh, yeah. Man. Okay, I've I'm interested like, in that. That, that one I'm intrigued by because I just cannot wait to see the person's face. Like, that when they actually think, oh, we got a connection here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but you'll you'll know too, right? Like kind of like Mark saying, you'll be able to predict. So you see somebody who might be, you know how you you always judge like is that person too attractive for that person? So if they're actually hitting it off, not seeing each other, and then all of a sudden they see each other, I can't wait to see the face oh, of. It's uh, funny. I'm out. <laughs> it's funny because they, they like play along with it because they get so emotionally into it. Yeah, you know? and so like they're they're like attached emotionally, and as time goes on, it's just like like some of the dudes, some of the girls, they're like slapping themselves every time they look at them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just this like hard crash that eventually happens. Oh, no. You gotta see the show. It's good. I gotta watch it. I want to watch oh, that yeah. one. I know what I've been watching. What? What are you watching? Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh man, ripped out of his dude. Shredded. Body. He looks Shredded. so good. He looks, he looks so oh, good. I'm showing you, Mark. I actually like the him. movie. You, I like the movie too. Roadhouse is a yeah. really good movie. I mean, like, it's a shut your brain off it. type of movie. Go in. Yeah, yeah. Look shut your brain. Up. Look at him. He's a good looking. He's a man. monster. Yeah. I feel like yeah. Mark, you could turn your body into this if no. you worked out for 12 weeks straight. I'm so slim that like no matter just what juice. I do, just juice. Yeah, if I juiced. You yeah. could look like a Joan Hall for sure. Yeah, I could not with some uh, like a fat with Jones. juice for sure. But <laughs> he juice. You don't think Hollywood actors juice? Oh, hundred percent they do. And they, so the movie. So just talking about Roadhouse. And what was your overall take? I I enjoyed it. I mean, what are we what are we going out of five? Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a three out of five. Yeah, like yeah, I liked it. It's just to turn your brain off, enjoy it. Good fight scenes. Jake Gyllenhaal, I love his character because he plays just like a chill dude. He's like, yeah. look, I'm just chill. It's the lo- it's the confidence of the chillness. You're like, oh, I love that. So love good. It. Yeah. He's so calm, but yeah. can kill anybody. It's just. Mm. Yeah. And then who they bring in for the fighter. It's uh, what's his name? Yeah, it's uh, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. What would like, you think of Conor McGregor? I didn't like him. He's, I think I, I, he came in all guns blazing, thinks he's going to be all weirdo, but he just ended up ruining it for me. Like he was, I wish he would have come in more like a badass and not like a jokester. But that's I what can he handle is, the jokester. I can handle the jokester. What I couldn't handle was the way he was walking. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, but that's He's how he walked. I, that's I, how he does it. Yeah. I did not like that though. I couldn't handle that. I just uh, he, he overdid it, and he should he should have had much. somebody on there. Being like, look, dude, I would have loved him more if he was a serious badass. I just would have. It would have been like it would have been way better. Oh, well, he is a badass. But he played so. a psychopath. Yeah, he played. Yeah, and he. Yeah, you're right. It was it was a little bit over the top. Did you watch it to the very end of the end of the credits? No. Okay, go do that. Oh, yes, I, I did. Yes, I, I did. Wanna... Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Where he? Okay. 
No spoiler. Yeah, no spoiler okay. alert. Yeah, no spoiler. But it's a very, very good movie. Uh, honestly, it's just again not like you know. It's not a. Re- it's a rewatchable. It is a rewatchable movie. Um, it's not. It's not going to win any. You know, Oscars, I actually watched. I've watched it twice already. Oh, yeah, I've watched it twice. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, just because somebody that I was with wanted to watch it, and I'm like, yeah, oh, I'll watch it again. It's good. Um, it's just fun. It's a. Fun what did movie. you think of? Uh, what did you think of the like the main bad guy like. The, you know, the guy the, in the boat the getting kid? shaved. Yeah, the rich kid. Okay, it's just weird. He I liked one, him. You, I didn't mind him. He played a decent guy, but it was just... It, they could I have just done him better. Good, I thought he was a good actor. I thought he was believable to me because there were some characters yeah. that weren't believable. Yeah. I thought he was believable. I like the guy that got his arm broken. Yeah, that was great. That guy's awesome. That guy makes it for sure. Yeah, he really he steals the show. But but the, uh, the rich guy, I don't know who he is. I don't know where I've seen him before. But He's been in a bunch of films. The scene where they go in and, and where he meets Gyllenhaal yeah. for the first time in the bar, I thought that was a great scene. No, that was honestly it was a good scene. That was yeah. the shaving one. I didn't like very much because it was like he was being a nice guy, but he wasn't, and it was just like it was weird. But I understand yeah. that it was like me, yeah, yeah. but great yeah. movie overall. Um, that was good. I'm watching. Uh, I've watched a bunch, so I watched again. Uh, All quite unset or quite unset by the uh, documentary. It's a three part series. I got another one dropping soon, actually, or four four episode series on. Um, Dan Schneider and Nickelodeon and what they did to kids and it's actually gonna just infuriate you. Yeah, what they did to these it. kids. Just it's crazy. Like two pedos on set, both went to jail. One guy, he literally did everything you could imagine to this kid, and you only get sixteen months in jail. And when this kid walks into uh is it Drake his name? Drake. It's his name's Drake Bell. When Drake Bell walks into the courthouse to to like for this thing, he looks on the side of Brian, I think his name is, and he sees all these actors and people on that guy's side standing up for him. Guess who writes him a letter of like, be easy on him, judge? James Marsden. So James Marsden, who I thought my kids love him. He's seen a lot of good movies, a lot of kids' movies. He's in Sonic the Hedgehog, which my son loves. He wrote a letter and being like, uh, just go easy on him. This guy did everything you could imagine to a minor. And he's got mm-hmm. all these Hollywood superstars standing up for him. And he only got 16 months in jail for doing this to a kid just and then he got a disney hired him after he got out of jail and it's and it's all proven all fact oh yeah he was convicted like proven convicted went to jail for it and uh so all these people were like i didn't know what i was standing up so anyway uh that was if you want to get pissed off real quick and learn about hollywood go watch that and any parent who puts their kids in hollywood after watching something like that should be ashamed of themselves because hollywood is just not good for kids no matter what I'd, you might be a flash in the pan. You might make money to begin with, but those none of those kids really have everlasting fame. None of them. Like Zach Efron, which yeah. is my next watch. I watched uh, the Iron Claw. Incredible. Mm. Oh, movie. I want to watch it. You watch incredible it. movie. Yeah, I can't. That's a, such a sad story. Eh? Oh, I know, and it's a true story. And they, the, I'm no, not going to give too much away. On the story too, though. Okay, but I'm going to watch that. But this movie yeah, doesn't even give like they cut out a lot of the story, and the the real story is even more harsh than the movie yeah. portrays. Yeah, I bet. But Zac Efron did an incredible job. And he's like one of the kids. The reason I say this is because he's one of the kids that came out on the other side who had everlasting superstardom. Mm-hmm. But it's very rare that a kid comes out of these worlds. But Zac Efron in uh, The Iron Claw. You guys have to go watch The Iron does Claw. Does he play Carrie? Who does he play? He plays the me, uh, the surviving one. Oh, he plays Kevin? Is it I Kevin? Think it's Kevin? I think it's Kevin. I don't Kevin want to give too much away, but um, yeah. if you know the story of The Iron Claw, it's a wrestling family um, with tons of just just sadness and it's very it's not it's not super duper sad until the absolute end jeff and then you're gonna ball your eyes out oh really because if you if you know the full story it's sad like it just keeps like one tragedy after another the i mean it's not unknown so i'm not giving it's not spoilers because if you know the story it's a wrestling family mark it's from the guy iron claw then they take on the they're in this world of wrestling and all the sons wrestle eventually and every son except for one kills himself Ooh. Well, one dies from uh, over. Yeah, one's yeah, tragic. One one's tragic, and the other ones they all kill. Yeah, and like true. one after the other. Yes, wow. it's, it's terrible. Just, and they are all they are very loving, and they love each. The thing is, their yeah. bond is so tight. That's what makes it so sad. But yeah. there's a scene, Jeff. I'm not gonna give it too much away. But there's a yeah. scene after the last one happens, and it is just. Oh, just I can tears. imagine. I can imagine watching the Crazy. documentary. I was in tears. Like it's awful. Like yeah. to, to think of that happening to anybody. <laughs> It's a, it's worth a watch. And I also watched the whole. I'm just been in movie binging zone. I watched the holdovers, 
which was oh that's uh, good i watched that yeah, too i watched yeah. it on the way to uh way to mexico yeah i thought it was good it was decent i thought it was gonna be a little bit better more about more characters but uh he's good, good. message i guess and yeah. uh he's a great yeah, actor good. like he's such a good actor who plays what's his name giamatti um, paul giamatti and uh yeah just really really good I, I like his character development over time and how it worked it's just really mm-hmm. cool he's such he's a curmudgeonly old teacher it's just really it's really it was really i like period pieces that stick close to it and it like makes you th- that one stuck in my head for a few days that's for sure yeah for sure so give it a so watch I watched, I watched that one on the way to mexico and then on the way home i watched uh uh the hunger games the new hunger games oh i haven't seen it is it good i liked it okay. i did but i like the books and i like the story yeah, so i like the books too yeah yeah it's it's kind of long uh but it gives you good like you know what it is right it's a prequel yep prequel yeah. uh it's snow. About snow snow it's about snow. oh yeah. yeah 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 all right so now we're going to segue into something that i've been saving up for a long time guys and this is something i'm very excited about <laughs> it's the comment sections of funny instagram and tiktoks on another okay. note jeff that uh what do we got hanging there sorry, behind Marky, you that, go ahead Marco. that <laughs> red what's that red uh milwaukee uh, you tell me come on you know what it is what is that? it looks like a an angle grinder but i can't really tell i thought it was a nail gun oh, at first oh a hedge trimmer yeah I love that. Your microphone was kind of blocked. Or yeah. Elvis is not letting me see yeah, the Yeah, Elvis's bush. legs are in the way. Yeah, I thought it was a nail gun. No, oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful piece of that's equipment. My bush, that's equipment. my bush trimmer. I yeah. have a Masscraft version, and I wish I had that one now. See, Jeff doesn't fool around. He doesn't mess around nope. with his tools. Nope. Well, he sort of does. Depends. See that, see that still blower he's got? <laughs> oh, he's got the good one. Yeah, I got a backpack for yeah, it. That was a gift from my father in law, that uh, still blower. That but then you awesome. know what? When I got this, uh, no, I got the uh, the Milwaukee weed eater and it came with a um, battery powered blower. That thing oh, worked great too. Oh, those things are intense. Yeah, I sure. tried to do my lawn with a with a battery powered. So I'm getting gas powered this year. It's, it's gas powered. Oh, yeah. I got it because I have two acres. Whoever's no, for what though? Oh, oh trimmer. Yeah. Oh, trimmer. I call it a oh, trimmer. Yeah, you guys call it whippersnipper. Some people call it white weedies. There's a whole bunch of names for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, just I was growing up, the Dutch guys called them weedies. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was always a whippersnipper for me. Okay. Weedies. What do you guys in the comments, yeah, what do your husbands me. call it? Or you, if you do the trimming. <laughs> um, okay, I got a bunch of videos I want to show you guys. <laughs> okay. I have been saving these for weeks. And we're going to watch the video, and then we're going to read the comments together, okay? Can you see this, Jeff? Yes, I can see it. I'm already horrified. <laughs> hey guys, um, update. I didn't get the job. Parents had a lot to do with it. I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she said, I'm guessing my appearance had a lot to do with it. Wow. <laughs> but the comments, dude, the comments take it all on. Do you want me to play it again? I want to see the comment. Okay, Shit. hold on. Hold on. Here, we go, here we go. How many views has she got? Oh, I don't thing? know. It's not. It's not. 900. <laughs> okay, here's the comments. Oh. Who would have thought? Uh, Maybe she could get a job with the Biden White House. <laughs> you identify as a Smurf? Oh my gosh. I just, I didn't, this one actually wasn't about the comments. No shit. Do you have any mirrors in your house? It looks like you robbed a bank and the die exploded in your face. <laughs> oh my God. Why don't you think about a career in welding? <laughs> That's really mean. I feel like Oh really my mean. gosh. Feel it is really mean, but mean. okay, if you do this to your face, I mean you make bad oh. choices, nobody's gonna hire you. <laughs> Change your hair color, that will help. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh okay, here's I got a bunch more guys, just stand by. I gotta recover. Okay, from wait, wait, wait. One. This is the cringe one and I cannot wait for you guys to watch it. You ready? <sighs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Whoa. That's some swag. <laughs> oh my. Who turns the camera on? One comment's got 42,000 likes. Sweet. 
picture of me on the dashboard. <laughs> It keeps going. It keeps going. It's got dents and bones. I think this person it like just keeps going. This person like drove to the park to make it look like they live in the country. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, Jeff. oh my goodness. <laughs> Someone turn the camera on to film. Okay, so no, why but the she, did no, I watch? Somebody that? said. Somebody said. <laughs> Hey, I got an idea. Can you please film me? Uh, can you film? No, that's got to be a tripod, dude. No one's filming that. This person has no friends. No. I hope somebody's filming that. But here the call. And I died laughing in bed. So why the F did I watch the whole thing? I think I think I actually know a guy who would make a video like this. <laughs> that person actually do it. reminds me of somebody I know. Built like a rhino Built like a blue rhino propane tank. <laughs> oh, well, nice. uh, if you watch it with the sound off, it just looks like she's trying to sell you an F-250. <laughs> Dad, is your truck unlocked? <laughs> the video didn't belong in my algorithm, but the comment sure did. The, the, the sexual tension between her and the car is noticeable. <laughs> Size, open comments. Um, there's a couple good ones. Hold on. Either get in the truck or not. Because she kept getting in and out. <laughs> this went on for three months. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Your girth Brooks. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna tell my kids this is Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she knows the lyrics at all. <laughs> oh my god. You thought Billy Ray was ridiculous. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Who's the target audience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think she knows. I give this performance 47 out of 46. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Love on the Spectrum, Alabama. <laughs> okay. That's that was this. mean. That was mean. Okay. Here's Funny. another yeah. one. Here we go. I don't like that one, but. No. Okay, hold on. Girth, girth Brooks look. <laughs> Here it is. My <laughs> My, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one's uh my genuine reaction to seeing a flight deck with three amazing and powerful female pilots for the first time. You ready? Let's see how powerful it is. Sorry, that's so stupid. <coughs> Update plane crashed. <laughs> Hold on. How did y'all recover this footage? <laughs> this is awesome. First play to hit curbs and do 80 and 650. So oh, on. no. <laughs> they keep telling each other directions last minute. <laughs> First airplane to get like road rash or something. Hits curb. Oopsies. Well, I'm an asparagus. All right. Let me find another one. Here we go. Number four. Get ready. I haven't even seen these. Oh my gosh. Okay, get ready. <laughs> oh, this is mean. Get I can ready. tell. This one's mean. <laughs> we gotta do what we do. It's what we know. So to me, it ain't nothing but being true. But <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> wait. Born to be wide. <laughs> oh, that's mean. <laughs> Tons of anarchy. Oh. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> He's going like 150 kilograms an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's another one. It's so funny. Toast Rider. <laughs> Hold on, it's, it's coming up. <laughs> Bro's job dropped on Japan. <laughs> Need for cheese. <laughs> Harley digestion. <laughs> Oh, Fat and Furious. So as somebody that actually rides a Harley, it's actually very common. To, to see a guy see, that big. Not that big, but like the big dude with the beard and the whatever. Like he doesn't have a beard. Well, who knows? He's got a yellow bandana on. But 
like big dudes and bikes is kind of a thing. So that's okay. a that's extreme, but <laughs> barely Davidson. <laughs> Hold on. Is it is it rare, Mark, to see saddlebags on the rider and the bike? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hungry Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got another one. I got a couple more. Hold on. Stand by. <laughs> Jeff, throw back to our seven day sex challenge podcast. Listen yeah. to this, okay? Listen to this. Day 25 of our 31 day intimacy challenge. Watch the guy, okay? <laughs> We are having segs every day for the month of July. Watch the guy. 30 day intimacy challenge and we wanted to do a little check in. Personally, it helped me pursue Daniel more. I just think that becoming a mom, it can be all encompassing and it really helped me put my Daniel back in the place that I wanted it to be in my life. We're on day 25 of our 30 day intimacy challenge and we wanted to do a <laughs> Bro is in permanent post not clarity. <laughs> Bro's brain is in neutral. <laughs> Broken divide by zero. <laughs> Broken your shapes now. <laughs> Bro looks like it's at one hit point left. <laughs> oh my god. Bro's check engine light is on. <laughs> Bro is calling for help telepathically. <laughs> Definitely is. <laughs> Bro's in standby. <laughs> Bro needs a factory reset. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, look at this. Bro's looking at it like it's our fault. <laughs> Bro doesn't even have the energy to drink or to blink. Oh, this one's funny. Hey, okay, last one. Okay, these people, I don't know if you know who these people are. Um, what is their, uh, oh, what is their name? Pookie and something else. This is what they do. They are the cringiest couple on the internet. He looks like Matt Damon fell into a vat of shrinking powder. And this is who they are, Jeff. These people are really cringy. Okay, watch yeah, this. Yeah, but this is their shtick, right? Like, yeah, it is their shtick, but they're funny. real yeah, okay. about it. It's not, they're not making this up. This is who they are. Nah, come watch. on, just for money. So, um, Matt, wish Matt Damon over here is not hearing the song. He's supposed to be dancing. I wrote that. Dude guys off serial, serial killer vibes. So they do this. They, he's like, Pookie is wearing this thing, and it's like really weird. But one of the comments is, this guy is the reason there is a chair in the corner of the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the funny videos I came up with. Oh, I got to send you. I just want wait one sec. I'm going to send you one because okay. I want you to look at send it because it's pretty funny. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Let's put your breakfast together. This morning, I prepared a very special breakfast of Eggs Benedict. Well, my take on it. On the bottom, I Sounds have good. two crispy potato roasties. They're similar to a hash brown. Mm -hmm. A little bit of creme fraiche, some nice slices mm -hmm. of smoked salmon. Top of the smoked salmon, two beautifully poached eggs mm -hmm. with a nice runny yolk mm -hmm. on the inside. Mm -hmm. The hollandaise sauce. Your breakfast took a little long because I had to make this twice. But I got it perfect on the second time. Freshly chopped chives. On the side, a little lightly dressed arugula salad. Some sliced kiwi. A lovely cortado. This guy's on like week six of the grown out buzz cut. <laughs> like, yeah. A glass of water. And you put that in the comments. A little, touch, a little bouquet of some flowers. Uh, so, okay, breakfast. here, let me read the comments for you. Okay. <laughs> First time being kidnapped. Kind of nervous. <laughs> Jeffrey Calmer. Uh, Jeffrey Calmer. <laughs> Does the murder happen before or after the arugula salad? <laughs> good morning, basement fam. Eating good today. <laughs> <laughs> me in the basement what made you choose me i'm the girl uh, tied up in his basement the food is great i don't have to pay rent he's got a koi pond down here <laughs> <laughs> this is so good very nice uh, no please unchain me <laughs> is, is there a wait list for this basement because i'm ready <laughs> that's a good one this is a great one the hollandaise 
she rubs the hollandaise on her skin or she gets the hose yeah again. that's a good one that's a very good one. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my God. oh man okay that's great i love these things yeah that's a great um, one so there i'm glad we had a good good laugh at the end there's so the funny so you guys please in the comments or instagram please send me the ones where you're reading the funniest comments because i want to like that's a segment i want to continue to do it's like so much fun oh man so and if you have any ideas of what you want us to talk about let us know we're always looking for new segments any any closing thoughts gentlemen before we head out we should at one point we should talk about the things that ail us are you guys getting old like i am or yes mm-hmm. hurts yeah. Okay. Next week, that's what we're talking about. Getting yeah, old. We'll talk about that. Okay. Sucked. That was awesome. All right, guys. Oh, everybody wanted me to show you guys this poster that she made for us. Oh, man. The doodads. I love it. That's fantastic. Thanks, Everly. Yeah. Doodads. Oh, those are Mark's, those are Mark's pipes. Yeah, no, Mark's not pipes. me. That's a wrench. firefighter's pipe. That's a pair of pliers. And we do it. Whose then, lips are those? Those are Jeff's. Beautiful no. lips. I, I have very thin lips. I don't have big lips. Tom's eyelashes. Jeff, for you, need sure. some, you need some fillers and some Botox, buddy. <laughs> Get a BBL while you're at it. Actually, no, Jeff's got some cake. Jeff's got some cake. Oh, 100% he does. You have a big ass, hey, Jeff. You got a big what? bum. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So climbing cake. ladders, dude. He's yeah. He's you got get, the, he's got the firefighter cake. Yeah, you get I, got legs, too. I got legs and cake. That's what I got. That's what, that's what they call it now. They call it cake. Anyway, hey guys, thanks for joining us here in Dude Ads. We appreciate you being here. Make sure you leave a five star rating, like and subscribe, and share this video everywhere. We love to talk about cool things that are important to dads, and that's what we're doing here. So, Jeff, Mark, you guys are lovely, and I love you. Thank you. See you guys next time. See you.